This is the Music History Today podcast for August 8th. On today's show, we're straight out of Compton, Amy says no, 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 and Biggie debuts. First up, though, on this date in 1923, Benny Goodman got his first gig on a cruise ship in the Great Lakes. In 1941, Les Brown and his band of renown recorded the song Jolton Joe DiMaggio. In 1960, Decca Records stopped the release of Ray Peterson's song Tell Laura I Love Her because they thought the song was tasteless. Eventually, Ricky Valance's cover version of the song was released and became a huge hit. In 1962, the longest-running television variety show in history, Sabado Gigante, premiered on Latin television. In 1964, the Rolling Stones performed in Denmark for the first time. In 1966, the South African government banned Beatles records because of John Lennon's comments that the Beatles were more popular than Jesus. In 1968, Little Richard was among the performers at the Schaefer Music Festival. In 1969, the famous record cover photo for the Beatles' Abbey Road album, with them crossing the street near Abbey Road Studios, was shot. In 1970, Dave Alexander was fired from the Stooges for forgetting how to play the songs. In 1970, same day, Janis Joplin wrote the song Mercedes Benz at a bar and then performed it that very night during her concert. In 1975, Hank Williams Jr. fell off of a 500-foot cliff in Montana. He survived, but was permanently scarred. In 1980, the movie musical Xanadu was released in movie theaters. In 1983, Harold Melvin and members of his band were arrested on drug charges in Atlantic City, New Jersey. In 1986, David Crosby was released from prison after serving five months of an eight-year sentence on drug and alcohol charges. In 1991, Billy Preston was charged with showing pornography to a minor. And on that same day, Carlos Santana entered a no-contest plea in court to a marijuana possession charge. In 1992, James Hetfield of Metallica suffered burns when he got too close to pyrotechnics during their show in Montreal. Also on that same day, the group Madness reunited. In 2000, the major record labels were hit with a class action lawsuit that said that the labels had kept CD prices artificially high. The lawsuit was settled for $143 million. In 2004, the Dave Matthews Band tour bus dumped sewage into the Chicago River from a bridge and hit a group of tourists who were traveling under the bridge at the time on a tour boat. The band was not on the bus at the time of the incident, and that tour boat was in the absolute wrong place at the absolute worst time. Ugh. In 2007, Amy Winehouse overdosed after a night out on the town. The event would make her record label ask for her to go to rehab, but as the song that was inspired by this overdose goes, she said no, no, no. In 2011, Gavin DeGraw was attacked on a street in New York City. He suffered a broken nose. In 2014, the dance musical movie Step Up All In was released. In 2017, the group Wecky Mecky was formed. In 2020, music executive Simon Cowell was seriously injured in an exercise biking accident. And also on that same day, Taylor Swift's album Folklore debuted at number one on the Billboard Albums Chart, while her song Cardigan debuted at number one on Billboard Singles Chart, making Taylor the first artist to debut at number one on the album and singles charts in the exact same week. In classical music, in 1964, the Dutch Opera Company was formed, and in 2009, singer David Miller of the classical group Il Divo married actress Sarah Joy. In theater, in 1964, the musical 110 in the Shade closed on Broadway, and in 1984, the Broadway show Rink closed. Albums that were released on August 8th include in 1964 when Bob Dylan released Another Side of Bob Dylan. In 1966, the Beatles released Revolver. In 1980, Electric Light Orchestra, or ELO if you will, 
released the soundtrack to the movie Xanadu, along with songs by Olivia Newton-John, among others. In 1981, Debbie Harry released Cuckoo. In 1983, Billy Joel released An Innocent Man. In 1988, Robert Cray released Don't Be Afraid of the Dark, and N.W.A. released their landmark hip-hop album, Straight Outta Compton. We discuss more about that particular album and also the controversy surrounding it on this week's Music History In-Depth podcast, which has dropped by the time you're hearing me say these lines. In 1993, Tina Turner released the soundtrack to What's Love Got to Do With It. In 1994, April Wine released Frigate. In 1995, Ben Folds 5 released their self-titled album. Citizen King released Brown Bag and Moonspell released Wolfheart. In 2000, De La Soul released Art, Official Intelligence, Mosaic, Thump. And Shaggy released Hot Shot and the Moody Blues released Hall of Fame. And in 2006, The Gin Blossoms released Major Lodge Victory and Bad Company released live in Albuquerque, 1976. Singles that were released in the UK on August 8th include in 1980, when The Clash released Bank Robber and David Bowie released Ashes to Ashes. Meanwhile in America, in 1958, the Kingston Trio released Tom Dooley. In 1961, Elvis Presley did a twofer. He released Marie's The Name of his latest flame, and also Little Sister. Meanwhile, in 1966, the Beatles did a twofer. They released Yellow Submarine and Eleanor Rigby. In 1967, Aretha Franklin released Take a Look, and Elvis Presley did a twofer. He released Judy and There's Always Me. In 1968, the band released The Wait, a classic song. Here's another classic song, 1973, when Bob Dylan released Knockin' on Heaven's Door. In 1978, The Who released Who Are You. In 1986, Genesis released Throwing It All Away. And in 2016, Blackpink released their debut single, Whistle. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on August 8th include singer Shawn Mendes, Drew Lachey of 98 Degrees, J.C. Chasses of NSYNC, rapper Cool Modi, David Evans of U2, better known as The Edge, Ricky Rocket of Poison, singer Joe Tex, Country music singer Mel Tillis, singer Connie Stevens, Chris Foreman of Madness, Dennis Drew of 10,000 Maniacs, Ali Score of Flock of Seagulls, Andy Fairweather Lowe of Amen Corner, country music singer Michael Johnson, Jay David of Dr. Hook, Phil Balsley of the Statler Brothers, bluesman Jimmy Witherspoon, country music singer Webb Pierce, actor and singer Keith Carradine, jazzman Benny Carter, guitarist Peter Popa, jazz trombonist Yerby Green, composer Cecil Charminade, John Gustafson of the Mercy Beats and also the group Roxy Music, John Renborn of Pentangle, Liberty DeVito of Billy Joel's band, drummer Anton Figg from Late Show with David Letterman's band, Scott Stapp of Creed, singer James Blount, singer Bradley McIntosh, Sam Totman of Dragon Force, Lupus Thunder of the Bloodhound Gang, singer Lauv, rapper S. Coops of Seventeen, singer Ronan Park, entertainer Lucky Lillander, flute player Don Burroughs, music producer Sandy Perlman, David Grant of the group Lynx, singer Crystal Evans of the group Girl Authority, trombonist Frank Trainer finishes off the list. Meanwhile, Artists who unfortunately passed away on August 8th include composer Oswald von Wolkenstein, who passed away in 1445 at the age of 68. 
Composer Matthias Schatt passed away in 1700 at the age of 40. Composer Karl Graun passed away in 1759 at the age of 55. Composer Blas de la Serna passed away in 1816 at the age of 65. Composer Silvestro Palma passed away in 1834 at the age of 80. Composer Friedrich Jand passed away in 1888 at the age of 79. Composer Gertrude Rush passed away in 1918 at the age of 38. Jazz clarinet player Johnny Dodds passed away in 1940 at the age of 48. Composer Nikolai Miskovsky passed away in 1950 at the age of 69. Composer Gino Taglia Pietra passed away in 1954 at the age of 67. Opera singer May Lenfang passed away in 1961 at the age of 67. Composer Sandor Jemints passed away in 1963 at the age of 72. Composer Yamir Weinberger passed away in 1967 at the age of 71. Saxophonist extraordinaire Mr. Cannonball Adderley passed away from a stroke in 1975 at the age of 46. Orchestra leader Bernie Green passed away in 1975 at the age of 66. Singer Fair Grignard passed away in 1982 at the age of 43. Jazz pianist Kurt Edelhagen passed away in 1982 at the age of 62. Singer Felix Leclerc passed away in 1988 at the age of 74. Session drummer Irv Cutler passed away from heart issues in 1989 at the age of 71. Composer Andres Dobrowolski passed away in 1990 at the age of 68. Guitarist Didi Duprat passed away in 1996 at the age of 69. Composer Ake Hermansen passed away in 1996 at the age of 73. Jazz pianist Duncan Swift passed away in 1997 at the age of 74. Composer Maki Ishii passed away in 2003 at the age of 66. Composer Michael Hurd passed away in 2006 at the age of 77. Pianist Duke Jordan passed away in 2006 at the age of 84. Singer Clarence Tex Walker of the group The Drifters passed away in 2007 at the age of 61. Composer Joseph Galanou passed away in 2008 at the age of 87. Drummer Jack Parnell passed away in 2010 at the age of 87. Opera singer Regina Resnick passed away in 2013 at the age of 90. Producer Cowboy Jack Clement passed away in 2013 at the age of 92. Composer Peter Scruthorpe passed away in 2014 at the age of 85. Rapper Sean Price passed away in 2015 at the age of 43. Country music singer and guitarist Glenn Campbell passed away from Alzheimer's disease in 2017 at the age of 81. Singer Barbara Cook passed away in 2017 at the age of 89. Composer Marion Varga passed away in 2017 at the age of 70. Motown songwriter Lamont Dozier of the legendary songwriting team of Holland Dozier Holland passed away in 2022 at the age of 81. Singer and actress the legendary Miss Olivia Newton-John passed away in 2022 at the age of 73. We go more into her life on this week's Music History In-Depth podcast, which has already dropped on this channel by the time you're hearing my voice. Singer, songwriter, and pianist Tony Brown passed away in 2022 at the age of 83, and singer, songwriter Sixto Rodriguez, who became famous for the movie Searching for Sugar Man, passed away in 2023 at the age of 81. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is August 9th, when in 1995, the world loses Jerry Garcia of the Grateful Dead. 